Well, by golly, y'all, guess what? We fixing to make us some slow cooker gooey brownie cake, okay? This is super simple. It takes three hours and 10 minutes. We're gonna put it in our crock pot. So if you wanna get a dessert going and then eat it later after you have Sunday dinner, this is the one for you. And it's, it's in the crock pot. So I think I've got pretty much all of our ingredients. Um, the only thing I don't have is semi half a cup. Well, I do have chocolate chips, but I don't have chocolate chunks. I'm not too worried about that. I don't need the extra chocolate in there, so I'm just going to omit that. But let's get our um, ingredients together. It says to serve with some ice cream, but who wouldn't love some ice cream on top of anything chocolate and warm? So let's get started on our ingredients. We need to melt. Uh, one and a half sticks of unsalted butter in the microwave. Maybe, if I can get it out. Let me get a knife. Well, I was making sure I wasn't going to cut my finger off. I don't know me. I will do that in a heartbeat. Okay. I thought I left paper on there. Let me get this going. So for this recipe, it says to line your crock pot with a tin foil. So I've never done that before, have you? Pretty neat, eh? I don't know, it says a large piece of foil, then generously like spray it with nonstick spray. First time for everything. I know they make the you know, hot pot liners, but all right, let me get some spray. I'm gonna spray it vigorously. Oh God, this stuff smells so good. It almost smells just like a vanilla cake mix. All right, so I need three slightly beaten eggs. I know that's not slightly beaten, but I thought it was cute. So what I'm gonna do now is just whisk together melted butter, sugar, cocoa powder, flour, eggs, vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of salt in medium bowl. Well, I am going to whisk in the sugar first so that I know it's melted. Where's, I gotta find a whisk. Just because I don't want a gritty piece of something in my mouth, you know? And I added the salt. See, I just don't, this, this kind of boils me, so I'll definitely let you know how it tastes. All right, cocoa powder, needed a third cup, two thirds cup of that. Well, that smells really good. Okay. This cooks on low for three hours. So now I'm gonna add in the flour and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the vanilla. Mmm, smells so good. I have another bottle up there. I just need to get another bottle of vodka. All right. And then three slightly beaten eggs. Eggs really don't want to get incorporated, do they? All right. Now I just need a spatula and put it in the crock pot. I have to turn on 
down high, it just came out hot, then I'll turn it down to low once I put this in it. All right, in the crock pot it goes. in three hours. Put the lid on it. Make sure I turn it on low. It's 3.30 now, so 6.30 tonight it'll be done. Alright, let's take this lid off. Here's what the inside looks like. I am just going to get a spoon and dive in. Okay, I see where it's going with the texture. It's going to go right here. Can you see? Oh. Let's taste it. Mmm. Really good. I just really want to go in the middle. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's like a lava cake in the middle. That's my, mm, that's my go-to thing, man. That's amazing. Not too sweet. It's like perfect. It was warm, but it's really good. You see, can't do nothing for fruit flies, flies. I love summertime. Mm. I'm going to take some of this to my mother-in-law. This is outstanding. Of course it is. It's chocolate. Anyway, I hope this video put some yummy in tummy and a smile in your heart. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.